Um, we're just wondering whether she has the longest name. Of today? There's aggression there from the Austrian. Mm. Really chasing down Katia Pogli and putting the pressure on her right from the beginning. Nice comeback from the Turk, breaking the grip up and showing a bit of spirit. There's the Austrian with the big grip over the left, uh, um, with the left arm over the top, but uh, the Turkish girl able to avoid it. And it goes to the ground and now um, Kathy Pogli attacks with a shimiwaza attempt. But uh, doesn't bring it off. We've seen... Um, some good judo from this group today. For my money, um, we haven't come to the final block, obviously, but for my money, yesterday's judo was, uh, was better. There was a wider spread of um, excitement over a longer period of time. But today, I think we've seen some bigger throws. Really, really, um, I mean, heavy landings. You would, as the weights go up, they are going to land heavier. You've got bigger bodies getting thrown around. But the techniques today have been really, really good. Enjoyed watching them. And then again, for my money, on both days, the more interesting judo has come from the, the women. On uh, day one, that was yesterday, Friday. And again today, I think the women have uh, produced um, really good judo. The only thing I'd say about the men is they tend to be a little bit uh, more defensive and a bit more tactical. The women, well, slightly more open. And with that, I think that makes for... Uh, uh, a, a better spectacle in terms of knowing who the fighters are. And just uh, it's the simple enjoyment of the matchups that you get. Of course, you know, you can be a little bit more of a, a purist. You know, you probably come down on the side of the men, but uh, I've enjoyed watching the women's judo over the last two days. And this, um, 70 kilos in particular although we're watching 63s at the moment the 70 kilos have been uh, really good still no score between um Unterwerzacher and Kathy Poglu and as um, Valeria was saying earlier on we've got Barkling and uh, Ilieva coming up immediately after this that's in the uh, first of the semi-finals in the under 57 kilo category. Well done by uh, the, the Austrian. Yeah. Yes, but she missed the, the chance for a cycle. Definitely a chance lost there. Turkish girl has come back um, to fight well here after being, being beaten. Sometimes the spirit can be a bit low. Well, um, this is Kathy Podlu lost out to uh, Maila de Sintio. Do you remember that? Oh, yes. The French girl beat, beat her out. Mm -hmm. But uh, she's come back here. And she's doing a good job. 36 seconds to go. She's still in it. No score. 
between these two. Not a bad effort from the um, Turkish girl, Kate Pogli, but she really didn't move into Vrtzak. And when you see that technique, the Ochi and then the leg grab, you think there could be oh. trouble here. I don't think she, um, I don't think she did anything there. That's not uh, Kate Poglu's attack. Have they scored it? They scored I it. I didn't think it was a score. I didn't think that was a score. But now they're going to talk about it. Yes. I know they, they, well, both the corner judges have said that it was no score, but the referee has looked at the um, commission and they've indicated mm -hmm. that it was a Yuko, and that's the end of it then. It will be good if they repeat it. Well, on the back of that one mistake, which I think was... The Austrian, Unterwurzacher, falling over. Yeah. 